The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Psalm 32 Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one whose sin the Lord does not count against them, and in whose spirit is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away, through my groaning all day long. For night and day your hand was heavy on me, my strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you, and did not cover up my iniquity. I said I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave me the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let all the faithful pray to you, while you may be found. Surely the rising of the mighty waters will not reach them. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Do not be like the horse or the mule, which have no understanding, but be controlled by bit and bridle or they will not come to you. Many are the woes of the wicked, but the Lord's unfailing love surrounds the one who trusts in him. Rejoice in the Lord and be glad, you righteous. Sing, all you who are upright in heart. Unconfessed sin can be a terrible burden. Unconfessed sin can be a great pressure on us. Let's be careful to confess our sins quickly and receive the forgiveness the Lord offers. Psalm 36 I have a message from God in my heart concerning the sinfulness of the wicked. There is no fear of God before their eyes. In their own eyes they flatter themselves too much to detect or hate their sin. The words on their lips are wicked and deceitful. They fail to act wisely or do good. Even on their beds they plot evil, they commit themselves to a sinful course, and do not reject what is wrong. Your love, Lord, reaches to the heavens, your faithfulness to the skies, your righteousness is like the highest mountains, your justice like the great deep. You, Lord, preserve both people and animals. How priceless is your unfailing love, O God! People take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast in the abundance of your house. You give them drink from your river of delights. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. Continue your love to those who know you. Your righteousness to the upright in heart. May the foot of the proud not come against me, nor the hand of the wicked drive me away. See how the evildoers lie fallen, thrown down not able to rise. What a contrast in these two psalms. In the first psalm, the psalmist was very aware of his sin, so he confessed it to the Lord. In the second psalm, it says the evil ones in their own eyes, they flatter themselves too much to detect or hate their sin. Let's be like the former who have soft hearts towards God, who detect our sin and are sorry for it, so that we can receive his forgiveness. Joel chapter 1, verses 15 to the end of the chapter. Alas for that day, for the day of the Lord is near. It will come like destruction from the Almighty. Has not the food been cut off before our very eyes? Joy and gladness from the house of our God. The seeds are shriveled beneath the clods. The storehouses are in ruins. The granaries have been broken down, for the grain has dried up. How the cattle moan. The herds mill about because they have no pasture. Even the flocks of sheep are suffering. To you, Lord, I call, for fire has devoured the pastures in the wilderness. The flames have burned up all the trees of the field. Even the wild animals pant for you. The streams of water have dried up. The and fire has devoured the pastures in the wilderness. They, are, uh, they should be afraid. For the Lord's judgment is coming and it will be terrible. Let's make sure that we are those who are not fearing God's judgment but are ready to receive him as Lord and King. John 15 verses 12 to 17. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. 
Greater love has no man than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you servants, because a servant does not know what his master's business is. Instead, I have called you friends, for everything that I learned from my father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you, so that you might go and bear fruit fruit that will last, and so that whatever you ask in my name the Father will give you. This is my command, love each other. Our Father, we pray that you will give us a love for your saints, a love for your people, Lord, that will consume our hearts, that we may live in a way that is pleasing to you, that your church may bring glory to your name and be a faithful witness in this our generation. We lift up to you your church in the name of Jesus, your Son, our Saviour. Amen. O oh God, you know us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers, that by reason of the frailty of our nature we cannot always stand upright. Grant to us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. <laughs>